Yo, what's going on guys? It's Larboss here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best sniping filters right now in NBA 2K23 My Team Season 8. So if you guys didn't already know, the new packs and the new season have dropped Season 8, which has completely tanked the market of every card. So for the first filter, it's going to be the Chris Stapps Porzingis Dark Matter filter. Cheapest Chris Stapps Porzingis Dark Matter is going for around 33,000 MT right now. Yep, uh, those two are not snipes right there and they're already gone, but um, you want to just set the maximum bot to 27,000 MT. Snipe anything and everything that you see on the filter. If you see an invincible, it's going to be like hundreds of thousands of profit. But if you see any other card on here, if you see the 16-bit, that's the only other card, pick it up. It will be profit and there's been so many pop-ups for very cheap. If you guys have seen my streams and been on my Discord, you guys have seen all the pop-ups. Make sure and join up on the Discord, sub up to the channel because these filters are insane. I'm the first one to be talking about this filter which is why you guys need to leave a like and yeah guys that is it for the first filter the next filter that i'm going to be going over it is the best budget filter in the game as of right now it is the galaxy opal cheapest a lot of people say dark matter cheapest is but dark matter cheapest is very competitive this filter is kind of competitive but it is way easier to get uh snipes so the cheapest galaxy opals are going for 2800 mt so you just want to set your max bot to 2300 mt and by the way, every single time you get a snipe on this filter, if you just want to quick sell it, that's probably the best option. You get 2,500 MT just from quick selling. So every snipe on here is a guaranteed 200 MT profit, which adds up very quickly on this filter because it is one of the most active filters in the game. Very hot all the time. So hop on this filter if you don't have that much MT. You only need about 2,300 MT to get on this filter. It's a great budget filter for anybody who's looking to get up their MT to use a little bit more um, expensive filters today and through the rest of the season rest of the week so yeah guys this is an amazing filter that you guys need to hop on just hop on it for a little bit see if it's hot if it's not hot then i'd switch over to a, another budget filter which there are going to be other budget filters today in this video so yeah guys the next filter that i will be going over is the interdimensional dark matter cheapest filter you want to set your color to dark matter you want to set your theme to interdimensional just like that and as you can see you can see the Tim Thomas Luka Doncic and as we scroll you can see the bull bull as well so you want to find the cheapest Tim Thomas on your console and for this filter I'd recommend working a scroll so Tim Thomas going for I think 23,000 maybe a little bit more actually 24,000 maybe yeah 24,000 so we'll see if there's any right here at 23.9 yeah, 23.9. I worked this scroll right here at 23.9. Pick up anything other than Tim Thomas on this filter for this scroll and pick up Tim Thomas for 19,000 MT and below. You can even go 18,000 if you want to ensure a little bit more profit, but 19,000 you should be good on profit just because he is going for around 24,000 MT. Put him up for 23.5K and you're making a quick a thousand to two thousand mt every single snipe and there are a lot of snipes on here that are going up for very cheap which is why this filter is insane another hot filter and very uncontested filter right now along with the chris taps poising its filter i haven't seen anybody talk about these filters yet so yeah guys this is an amazing filter for today and the rest of the week so the next filter that i will be going over in this video is going to be the 16-bit dark matter filter is going to just be colored dark matter theme to 16 bit and as you can see lamella ball kristaps porzingis i'm not sure if there's any other i need to think but i think these are just the only two right here you want to scroll on the cheapest lamella ball who's going for i write i think around 9000 mt 8400 mt 8500 so i'd recommend working your scroll right here at 8400 mt right now but keep in mind that these prices often change just like that so i'd set it 8500 just right here Pick up Lamella Ball for 7,000 MT and below, then throw him up for 8,500. He will sell very quickly. And then pick up any other card. If you see Kristaps Porzingis on this filter, please pick it up, guys. It's going to be a guaranteed 20,000 MT or higher profit if you see him for very cheap. Even cheaper than this 8,500 mark. Yeah, yeah, guys, this is going to be an amazing filter. Super active. There's so many Lamella Balls that people are putting up, and that means that people are going to be putting them up for snipes as well guys this is an amazing filter right now you have to hop on this filter it is a budget filter you only need 8500 mt for this filter and yeah guys the next filter that i'm going to be going over today it is going to be the dark matter cheapest filter you guys already know about this filter but i can't stress this to you guys this filter is amazing i would honestly work galaxy opal cheapest right now but if uh galaxy opal cheapest is dry i would hop on the dark matter cheapest filter so as you can see cheapest dark matters i think they're gone up in price 
to around 4,800 MT. Yeah, 4,800 MT for the cheapest one. So you want to go ahead and set your maximum buy to 4,000 MT at this mark. This is a perfect mark because people like to throw them up for 4K. And every single snipe you see on here is going to be automatic profit, which is insane, guys. Just like this. Yo, is that a LeBron for 1.3? No, I missed all three. I missed all three, man. Just like that. But all, like two refreshes and that was all it took to see these three snipes right here. If I would have gotten that LeBron or that Larry Johnson would have been lots of profit. But this filter is insane right now. Honestly, just from that, I can say that this might be the best budget filter in the game right now. Yesterday it was a little bit dry, but it is super competitive as well. So if you guys, guys want to see a lot of pop-ups, but... Um, you want it to be a pretty competitive filter. I don't know. It might work this filter. It is really competitive. There's a small chance that you'll get any snipe on here. Just because everybody is on this filter. Because of how good it is, guys. So the next filter that I'm going to be going over is another half budget filter. Semi budget filter. It's going to be the Dark Matter Center Rocket Cheapest. So if you guys seen this filter. It used to be with the Ralph Sampson. But now it is Dwight Howard. Because the new Dwight Howard has tanked the price. Or not the new one. But this Dwight Howard right here. The Elemental Dwight Howard has tanked the price, so I go ahead and set my my scroll to around 10,300 MT. Pick up Dwight Howard for 6,000 MT and below, and then pick up uh, anything else that you see on this filter. If you see a Yao Ming. I have seen some people get some Yao Mings on this filter, but yeah, guys, this is gonna be an amazing filter. But only pick up cards on any scroll, any any filter that you work on a scroll. Make sure and look up the price before you buy something like. Make sure you look at the price before you buy it because if you see something pop up, it might not be a snipe. Just like this one that popped up for 10k, that is not a snipe, guys. So make sure and just be aware of that. I think this okay, so it's yeah, so honestly, pick them up for like 7k now because um, I mean, 10k you can even you can even pick them up at 8k and make profit right now. So I would recommend doing that 8k or under, or even 7k and under if you want to. I would say 7k just to make you a lot more profit. That's like 2,000 MT guaranteed every single snipe if you put them up for 10k. But this is a super active filter, guys. Super amazing filter, and probably going to be a little bit contested, but you will have an insane chance to get some of these snipes. Really good chance, guys. The next filter that I will be going over, of course, is if you have a little bit more MT. Speaking of that, I've lost a lot of MT just because I've gotten so many snipes and I have some bids selling. So, got some MT on the way um, because I have gotten lots of snipes in the last day from all these filter guys. All these filters, so many bids that I have. We'll see how much they sell for. But yeah, guys, the next filter is going to be the Invincible Eastern filter. You want to set your theme to Invincible. And then you want to set your conference to Eastern. And as you guys can see, all of these cards, pretty much all of them are snipes except for Danny Granger and Evan Mobley. Other than that, everything else is a snipe. So avoid avoid this card right here and avoid this card right here. If you see them pop up, do not buy them on this filter. Set your minimum buy to 500. And then also you want to uh, set your maximum buy up. Since Danny Granger is a buy now, you want to set your maximum buy up to around... See what the cheapest Danny Granger is going for. Looks like around... Probably just 100k on the dot, so I'd recommend working. Uh, yeah, 100k on the dot, so I, I just recommend doing this right here. Scrolling on this Danny Granger, pick up Danny Granger for 80,000 and under. Pick up Evan Mobley for 80,000 and under, and then also pick up any other card that you see on this filter. It's not going to be a great filter just because a lot of the invincible snipes get put up for 100,000 MT, but you still do have a chance to see any other Eastern. Uh, invincible card in the game and also a lot of these Danny Grangers are being put up for snipes as well This is gonna be a great filter if you have the MT But the next filter and the last filter that I will be going over in this video today is where you guys need to be On the filters today is the end game filter. I heard it's not super super hot But hey, if you get any snipes, it is insane profit It's such your theme to end game and as you can see all these cards are going for so much MT I don't know about the Paolo right now I need to see how much Paolo is going for, but I am assume he's still a snipe. I would still snipe him right now. I can't even... Oh, there he is. He's going for 100k with 7 minutes. I don't know. I, I kind of be aware of him. He might not make you a ton of profit, so I don't know. I, I probably would avoid him right now unless you know for sure that he is a snipe. I would look up his price every time you get on this filter and see what the cheapest one is or what the... Uh, 
the most recent one is going for the one that's ending the soonest is going for before you hop on this filter because you could buy him and he could sell for 110,000 MT and you make no profit which is what I don't want you guys to do you'd be wasting your MT and your time for that but yeah guys snap anybody else other than Palo you're gonna be making lots of MT this filter isn't super hot just like I said but it is an amazing filter nonetheless guys but yeah guys if you enjoyed the make video make sure and leave a like subscribe because these filters are all are all amazing and we'll be sure to make you lots of MT make sure and join up on the discord join up on my streams as well I'll be streaming tonight the discord I uh, will be doing a snipe of the week video tomorrow if you want to be in that video make sure and join up on the discord and submit something into the snipe of the week channel guys but yeah guys that is pretty much it for me I'll see you guys in the next video peace out